This is Twit. Now, let me let me point out this article uh, from Ole Begeman, uh, who is an iOS developer. He calls it iPhone 6 Plus Pixel Peeping. Mm -hmm. And Renee, I'm going to have to defer to you on this one because I did not realize this. It is a very, he says, the iPhone 6 Plus, re Plus this is the big one, renders things differently than every other iOS device to date. To developers, which he is, the device exposes a screen rectangle of 414 by 736, which the system renders at three times scale into a backing store, not an on-screen display, but a backing mm -hmm. store of 1242 by 2208. Now, of course, it's a 1920 by 1080 display. So the backing store is then, and this I always thought this was a bad idea, downsampled by 13% to the native resolution. In other words... Um, you know, normally when you have a display, the ideal resolution is the native resolution, dot for dot, on the display. That's what you want to do. But that's not what uh, Apple is doing with this. In fact, they're downscaling, which traditionally will give you some blurring and some weird artifacts. Now, you, he says that in practice, the resolution is so high that I haven't noticed this. But he did take some uh, up-close screenshots to give you uh, an example, and what he's done is he's uh, created a, a grid of vertical green hairlines with varying uh, spacing on a black background. Now, and this is perfect on the on the screen, and, and you, uh, this is at twelve forty two by twenty two oh eight. So um, this is every line. Of course, if you're watching uh, our video, it's it's heavily compressed, so you won't see this. But every line on this. Uh, is is uh, exactly right. And you can see, I can even see on our TV moireing over here on the left, which is in fact not the case. Uh, if you, So you should read the article at oleb.net. Then he talks about uh, the rendered three three times scale and then downsampling. And this is a photo of the screen. And you, see, I think you can see clearly the artifacting on these lines uh, because of the downsampling. Now, do you... See that on screen? Probably not, but I think it could it, it could impact the iPhone 6 Plus screen in the sense that it might make you feel like it's not as crisp as it could be. So, Renee, what do you think? So, uh, I mean, this this is a, it was noticeable to everybody before apps updated because they would upsample them from the old right. resolution. That and it was 5S. really bad. Yeah, I did yeah, notice you, that. You By the way, this is an iPhone 5, line. which is rendered at 2x, and so you yes. don't get any of the images image issues. Because you don't. Well, get it's any... rendered at two x and displayed at two x. Right. There's no scaling. It's rendered at the, there's no scaling. So that's an yeah. iPhone five. That's a six plus. And yeah, admittedly, he had to zoom in a lot to to see this. So I mean, if you're Lauren Brichter, you will probably notice this, and it might drive you crazy. Right. There's there not everyone is going to notice this, and there's a history of of different display technologies and who can notice them and who can't because it's just not something that everybody pays attention to, and not every not everybody can actually notice the difference. Some people will see a slight flickering when they when they move horizontally because it it changes which pixels are on and off differently because of the 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 scaling. Right. For most people, the resolution is so high that's why the density is so high over 400 DPI that you won't notice any difference. The advantage to the way Apple did it is that they went to at they could have gone to 1080p and just created an arbitrary uh, screen target for developers now, but that's not very future proof. By going to at 3x right now, it means that one day when they get a display that has the logical resolution of the frame buffer, it'll be perfect. It'll be exact, and developers won't have to you know dish the 1080p resolution and start making 3x assets. Uh, there were some rumors that Apple was trying to get a display that density in the iPhone 6 Plus, and they just couldn't do it, so they went to Plan B, which is 1080p. But whether that's true or not, uh, next year, the year after, the year after that, there will be an at 3x native display and all of the apps built for it will be fine. You can target 1080p today if you use OpenGL. They can, they'll let you call directly. So you can make a 1024, I mean, a, a 1080p uh, image. If you, if you know OpenGL well enough and you really, right. really want to go to the trouble of doing it. <laughs> but for most people, it's, there's absolutely no difference. You've got to break out the macro the way he did to really notice those kinds of things. Right. All right. So there are people in the chat room who say they can't see it. Um, there, yeah, there's a percentage of people who can. It's back when they had those old, I forget the screen technology, but you know, some people can always see small disturbances. Depends on the acuity of your vision yeah. and your sensitivity to movement. I think you, while you may not, I think you may not notice it exactly, but you may say, it's, I mean, it, it is certainly not desirable to do that 13% scaling, the down sample. That is no, that well, definitely again, like, not desirable. 
as you go to, I mean, it's the tension between that and making adaptive UIs because you want developers to be able to target. And this is a problem everyone has to face. Yeah. You have fragments on Android and other things. Yeah. WebOS tried to do it. Everyone has to find a way to sort of paint variable size screens and they're doing it on the Mac as well. And they have very good scalers that try to identify objects and make those objects as crisp as possible and not just do one-to-one -one pixel down sampling. Um, so it, it is just a challenge and it is, you know, it's the awkward teenage years of display is going Text high Text looks fine, right? Uh, 1080p video will be rendered at 1080p, so that'll always look fine. Um, I believe games will be painted at the same resolution, especially if they're using OpenGL or Metal or something like that. It's really only interface elements like single pixel horizontal or vertical lines that you'll start yeah. to notice that stuff.